so let's go on to your now. We're just going to turn your material and we're going to chain up five. So one, two, three, four, and five. We're creating a, a separate line and you can see that the straight line here and here and basically that is this particular line that we're doing. So we're bringing balance. So we have to bring down the strings just like so. So that's what we're doing here. So we're just going to add another one of those. So let's wrap and wrap and wrap. It's a quadruple going right where it originated out of. Okay. And so we want two coming out of the same area. Okay. Now this is the fun part. Let's chain three and then I'll explain the next part. So one, two, and three. So now what I want you to do is that this bottom piece and this bottom piece is part of the chain underneath. So we know that there's 13 in this fan. So let's uh, count over it. We're going to count to the seventh. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh. So the seventh is, an, is the one that we do not want to touch. So we want to come one back toward the hook and we're just going to we're, not, we're going to come back in for a single crochet, so it's the one before the seven. And now let's just chain, chain, and now let's jump over the seventh and put it into the eighth. And this is creating the center point then of the very next fan that you see above. So let's do that again. So we're going to now chain three, so one, two, and three. And now let's bring the strings back down like you see there. So wrap and wrap and wrap. Okay, and this is really easy to tell. See where this double crochet is right here? We just want the very top of that one. Okay. And now we want to chain one and then do that again. So wrap and wrap and wrap, going into that same hole and quadruple crochet. And now we want to chain our three again. So one, two, and three. And now we want to count again. So we're going to look for it. So this is the part of the chain. So we don't count that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we want to come to the one before the seven for a single crochet, chain two, one and two, jump over the seventh, going into the eighth. And then again, we're on the other side of the fan. So let's chain three, one, two, and three. And now let's come down and finalize it off with the two lines coming down. So wrap and wrap and wrap. Okay, and we want to secure it right into where we double crocheted the very first time into that line below. That was kind of a hard one to get in there. So two, 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 and two. And just like we started off with two on this side, we do want to finish two with two on this side as well. So we want to keep that uniform. So that'll complete this line and now let's go on to your next. We're going to turn your material and we're going to do the fans again for the next time and you can actually see they're starting to repeat the patterns here. So let's chain up. We're going to chain up one. So one and going into the very first stitch that you can see we're just going to double crochet. So now it's a lot easier now that you've got the first line already done. So now we're going to start off with the first fan and this is where it gets so easy ladies and gentlemen. It's the first line that's the hardest. Now that you've got your pattern established, let's get rocking and rolling. So wrap and wrap and wrap. So triple that time. So you got four on your hook. And do you see where we did the chain chain right in between where we left the seventh empty? That's exactly where you're going to go. So it's not like you really got to count. You just got to visualize it, right? So we're just going to quadruple crochet. So wrap and wrap and wrap going into that same spot. So we've got to do that 13 times. So we've done that before, haven't we? So we, you know how to do that already. So let me fast forward the camera again and I'll get my 13 done and I'll show you where on the other side that you're going to attach it. So we're almost done this tutorial and uh, 13 is now in position and this is the exciting spot. Do you see how we came down and we did our quadruple? We chained one and we attached it to the first double crochet down here. Well this is so easy. You just got to pull these bad boys apart like so <laughs> and grab your material, stick your hook in there and double crochet. So just pull it apart, jam your hook in and yeah there you go. So let's start on with your next fan and so we're gonna go wrap and wrap and wrap and now where is your next center point of the next fan and if you look at the next fan, I know it's kind of hard here, is exactly where you did your double uh, chains right in this turret where you've left the seven empty. So let's go into there. 
So it's very easy visually um, once you get the first line done is where everything else will go. Okay, so wrap and wrap and wrap and again going in for another 13. So uh, again, put in your 13 and we'll do the video fast forwarding again and uh, we're just going to about to finish up here because we are now going to repeat ourselves every other line now. So it gets really simple from here. My 13 is now in place and now you're going to be able to see the first two quadruples that we started off in the chain below. So what we need to do now is we need to function and put it in the top one. So just, just follow it up, you'll see the two on the edge. Okay, do you see this is the fan and these are the two separate and you want to catch it right on the top, just like so. So that is your double crochet. So you can see now that we've just finished two fans and they're over top of each other just like so. So it's actually pretty easy. So to repeat doing the last line, you just chain up your five again, put in your quadruples, count over to uh, chain three, and then count over to the seven, come back to the six, go to the eighth, and then go on and on. So the basically the last line that we did before this one, you can actually see what we're doing. And uh, good luck with this pattern. This is the Jumbo Fan brought to you by All Free Crochet and Mikey's Mail. Thank you for joining us and have a great day.